Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee. Today I have it in a biodegradable travel mug that has the world map on it. I grabbed it. Okay, today's video, I'm gonna show you all the things that I brought back from London. So it's kind of like a London haul. Well, it really is a London haul. <laughs> so let's get started. First thing I got was this. Now, it is a tin. It was six pounds. I wanna take this off. I got it at M&S, which is Marks and Spencer. It's a department store, but they also have like groceries. Um, grocery stores. And it came with biscuits in it or shortbread cookies. I didn't bring the shortbread cookies home. I forgot them in my hotel room because I was playing with it, but that's okay. But it hangs. And look at it and watch this. It Oh, you're not going to see it. Oh, it might have. It lights up. How fun is that? They had the Christmas ones out too, but I didn't care for the gingerbread houses. And apparently this is something that they put out every season or every year. I don't really know. But um, Mama Loves You GB, Michelle on YouTube showed these. And then I had to get one. Oh, I'm taking all the stickers off like I do. There we go. Well, mostly off, but we'll figure it out later. Here, I got it. Okay, I got the stickers off. But it can hang or it will just sit and you can turn the light on. And this comes off the bottom. So if I need to replace the batteries. How fun is that? I love it. So I picked up one of those. And then, and this is in no order. I'm just unpacking the stuff. I got a Starbucks mug. I don't, I will show you the other one that I don't love because they don't hold as much. But this one is in relief and it's the cityscape of London. And it has a red phone booth and the Starbucks and on the inside it says London. And I will use this as a drinking cup and not a display cup. I'm kind of thinking I'm getting rid of all of my, what I'm gonna show you cause I don't use them. But this one I will use. This one has to hold at least 12 or 16 ounces I would think. It doesn't say. But I got this at Starbucks for me. And then Sarah had asked me to pick up for her the You Are Here collection of mugs. And they have, like, I have a couple of them. They have London, England. They don't really hold as much, but they're a nice, they're just a display mug, I think. But it, this one is from London. They also had England. Um... And it has like just some of the sights of the city on the mug. So Sarah had asked me to bring her back one and I did. I'll put it back in her bag for her. This bag barely made it back to the United States. It's a mess. Okay, so then I was trying to bring back, look at all of my receipts and stuff. I need to keep that when I do um, my taxes. But I also picked up like a London, that's the subway system in London. Like in the, isn't that crazy? Yes. There was a lot of, there's a lot of subway and trains and things like that in the city of London. So I brought that, my receipts from all the different places. Oh, and was that when I went to Westminster Abbey. I was hoping that there was some information in here that I could tell you about, but I don't think there is. I think it's just an advertisement. Okay, so then I went to this company, TWG. And originally I thought it was Twinings, but it's not. It is um, a different company. I don't know what it's called but it's from, I believe, Japan, yeah, Singapore, and they make tea. So I brought back for Sarah and I, here's Sarah's, I'll put it in her bag, and then I got myself these little teas, and I will open it up and I will show you, maybe. 
uh, maybe. Um, I will not because it's taped shut. But they're little tins of tea. It's loose tea. And this one is, this was exclusively for TWGT in the UK. And this is Noel in London tea. And it is a like a Christmas spice blend. And um, bells are tolling and carols are a singing cobblestone streets glitter with freshly fallen snow a rich infusion this decaffeinated so it's good for nighttime i can barely read this this decaffeinated blended black decaffeinated black tea is a cup of enchantments a blend of dark chocolate and comforting spices fill the hearth with their warmth savor a jolly potion this christmas so i got us a christmas blend Here, let's do a thumbnail. And then this is Gentleman's Earl Grey. I love Earl Grey tea. And over there I have some tea I forgot to bring over here, but it's just Earl Grey. This is, so I've had Lady Grey. I've not had Gentleman's Earl Grey. So we got this one to try. Um, and it gives you the directions and you have to have a tea strainer. So these are loose leaf tea. These are not tea bags. So that's probably, I would say, like 10 to 12 cups of tea, if I had to guess. And I'm strictly guessing. Okay. You're going to see this story play out because there's more. But I, and I shared this already, but I did want to show you. So this is um, fun size candies that I brought back for my coworkers. In different jobs so this one i took yesterday and shared with my team that i play football or that i play football i do not play football that i work football with and i brought this back to share um we didn't they didn't take it all so that's fine so this is american candy it's mars milky way snickers maltesers or like a gobstopper or like a malt, malted ball um milky way i think i said twix and i think there is there is also a bounty bar but the thing is there's a different recipe in england than you get here or in europe and so even though it says snickers it tastes different and so i brought them back for everybody to try because that's like a fun thing something easy that i could bring back for people to just taste and you you're tasting a different country's candy even though it has our name on it and then I brought back, oh, I'm trying to clean out all this mess in here. Okay, then I brought for Sarah for her advent calendar. This is a Cadbury Dairy Milk. It's a their Cadbury chocolate, and it's a snowman. So that will go in one day of her advent. And then I got a Kit Kat Santa for her, for her um, advent. And then two of these malteser chocolate so they're like a chocolate bar but they have some of the malt in them and they're crunchy and this is a mint reindeer and this is a milk chocolate reindeer so i got her those so these are bigger than the shareable candies and these will go in her advent calendar for one day each then i picked up this larger container to bring back to share with folks as well and it's the same candy it's just smaller sizes i have some other candies in here i'll show you in a second but it's the same same candy but these are tiny little snickers where this so they're just a different size but it's the same same recipe and again it's stuff that we can't get here in the u.s so i think this box came with I think it was like 60 pieces, 30 pieces, 60, I think. I don't know. A lot. Um, I don't know. There's a lot in here, like 60 pieces. But it's again, it's going to get all sorted out in for stockings and my work people. Then I got a, one other... And I did buy, again, two of these. And I think that'll be it, yes. I did get two of these. But this is the Cadbury blend. And this is for um, 
again, stockings, sharing. I just mix everything up and give everybody a little variety. But this is British brands. And these bags, you got like 14 pieces. And I think these were only like $2, two pounds. So if I say dollar, I mean pound. But right now the pound and the dollar are pretty equal. So to buy one British pound, it would cost me $1, 14, 13 cents as of right now. So it's pretty even. Um, and in that bag, you get, these are Curly Whirlies, which is a chocolate caramel bar. Like it's really thin, but it's caramel coated in chocolate and it's soft. So you get some of those and you get a fudge chocolate, which I have not tried. I've not tried any of these, but I don't know what the fudge chocolate is. I'm assuming it's like a soft chocolate. You get a twirl bar. Um, again, Cadbury chocolate. You get a crunchy bar, which is crunchy. Um, these are flake chocolate. And these are really good. I have had a flake chocolate before the last time I was in London. So you get some of those. And then I think there was another, another caramel bar. So that was all the candies that I brought home to share. I need to, I'm just putting them all in their bag. Um, I need to figure out what I'm taking to work tomorrow to share with my work people, but I'll figure that out at a later moment. Okay, what else did I buy? Let us see. Oh, I got a Royal Christmas Festive Spiced Tea, and this is from Buckingham Palace. And again, it's another um, Christmas blended tea. It's tea, apple pieces, cinnamon bark, ground cinnamon, orange peel, ground cloves, ground nutmeg, fennel seeds, hibiscus, rose hip shells, lemon oil, and flavoring and it is finest black tea blended with so it is not decaffeinated and let's see if i can show you what a tea bag looks like maybe so it comes in little this bag comes with these little tea bags in it they're not individually packaged that is a okay i will share some with sarah for the holidays so i grabbed that tea um, there's just stuff everywhere, guys. This is so funny. I have all these bags that were given, like I went to Harrods. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this was the flat, flattish stuff. Yeah, okay. So this was a store that I went to. I need to keep these bags. Maybe I can use them for something. Oh, this was also at Buckingham Palace, and I grabbed a bookmark. I love bookmarks. These are, like, great. If you have a reader in your life, bookmarks are great. They take up no room in your luggage. They don't weigh anything, and every time the person uses it, they can think of you, or every time you use it, you can think of a trip that you went on. Oops, Buckingham Palace, and it has the crown. So there was not a lot of king stuff, while I was traveling about, I did pick up a couple postcards, uh, London and Buckingham Palace. And then I got, there, like I said, there was not a lot of the King, anything for the King out yet, but this postcard with King Charles on it. And I think it says His Majesty King Charles. And then it says Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth on this postcard that I picked up. And it does have her dates. But there wasn't a lot of um, there wasn't a lot of stuff going being sold yet. And then I picked up a six pack of Christmas cards to mail out to a few of my family members of Buckingham Palace. And I don't know what they say because I couldn't see the front. Oh, there's it's a variety pack. Oh, that's great. And you get, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Come on, come on. And you get three cards, so two of each. And I got those to mail out because, you know, that's what you do. I'm trying to keep all of my receipts for tax purposes. Oh, Harrods gave me this with some perfume on it and I have no idea what the perfume is, but it smells delicious. Now I need to figure it out, but I don't know what it was. 
Um, I went to a store called Muji, M-U-J-I. It's a Japanese store and they had it in London and they sell all kinds of housey stuff. But I picked up very specific things. Um, first and foremost, I love their pens. I have a couple of the black ones. So I picked up three, one for Sarah, one for me, and one for a coworker at the Schottenstein Center. I grabbed her a purple pen, uh, but they write fantastic. They're a gel pen and you can buy just this outer and then get the refills at the store. And these were a buck 95 or a pound 95 pens. So I grabbed three of those. For my cross stitching bag, I got two highlighters. These are great when you're cross stitching and I like them that they're smaller and they click so you can just do it with one hand to highlight and then put the highlighter away. But I like them that of the size, so I grabbed two of those. Now for Sarah, I got her a pen and then I got her some washi that has, you're not gonna be able to see it, but they have the days of the week on them to do like, what's that sign? Oh, nobody, to do like a bullet journal. And they say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they just go around and around. So you can use those for bullet journaling. And then I grabbed us just a little tiny notebook. This is a stocking stuffer for Sarah. So I grabbed one for each of us um, just to have to keep notes. So I picked up just a few things at Muji because um, I have actually ordered pens from them before, so I didn't need extra pens, but I just needed to get something from there. And I wanted to get a stocking stuffer for Sarah because she'll love that. I'm trying to put things away. Everything smells like that cologne and it's delicious. I'm not gonna lie. So let's put this stuff away. I'm trying to keep everything organized. Okay, then I got for my refrigerator, it's just the queen, it's her coronation, and it does say Queen Elizabeth II, 1926 to 2022. So that was for me to have on my refrigerator. There wasn't a whole lot either of like commemorative, commemorative type items out and about. And I think a lot of it as that, unlike here in the United States, in Europe, they don't try to make money off the dead basically they're not trying to make money off of a tragedy so it'll be some time before they start putting things out um i grabbed this royal tea towel and i will try to show it to you i want to make um a project bag sorry i know my teeth i really need to get scissors and i was hoping this one i would be able to figure out a way to make something out of it. At least maybe out of the top piece or like a bag out of that and put this at the bottom and then make that the back or something. I'll have to do some ironing and some measuring, but I was hoping that like that could be a panel on one side and then that would be the panel on the other side and make a bag out of it and probably attach some other fabric to it. But that was kind of my plan for this um, was to make a project bag out of it because I don't need tea towels in my life. I mean, I do, but I don't. So I thought I would try to measure and cut that was my plan for that piece. Um, I went to Liberty of London or Liberty London, which is a fancy department store. And for Sarah and I, I like to collect ornaments, Christmas ornaments when I go places. But I also didn't want to bring home blown glass or anything that would break on our trip. So this was nine pounds 95 cents so like 11 dollars us but it is an ornament and that is the store liberty but it's also london so i grabbed one for sarah and one for myself for our christmas tree and it's tin it's not glass so you know traveling back with souvenirs is always a challenge and i may have overpacked on this trip 
I know. I know. All right. Let's see. I'm pulling stuff out because not all of that is in this Liberty bag. It's literally from Liberty. And then I picked up this fabric. So Liberty London is a department store. They had their whole fourth floor was um, Christmas, which was fantastic. And then the third floor, they had a section with all their fabrics and they're more known for their cotton fabrics for quilting and things and haberdashery, which is like scissors and needles and buttons and all that. So I just picked up a half a meter of this fabric with the birds because I think it's fantastic. So I will make something out of that. And then I picked up two of these buttons to put on a project. I think I'll put it on my lid, my cross stitch and then I have one maybe for a bag or something. So I grabbed two of those. And then for the fabric of Liberty, I got this button, which you're not gonna see, but there's a crest on it. And the crest, I believe, is Liberty's crest. So I'll attach that. And then haberdashery, I got this bamboo turner so I can get my corners. I've always wanted one. And I said, well, then I should just get one in London. So I grabbed that. It's made out of bamboo wood. You can also use it if you're like folding paper and stuff. And you can attach it to something. And then I got this, which is long darning needles, merchant and mill. And it, they come in a wooden little container and there are darning needles in here. They're all different lengths and sizes, but quite frankly, I can put any needles in here that I would like and throw them in my stitchy bag and they're not gonna poke me, which is great. And I love this little wooden thing. This I think was seven pounds, 95 cents which throws, blows my mind because these fantastic little scissors were only eight pounds. And this is also Merchant and Mills. And these are little embroidery scissors and they're great. And I love, I got them because they're in gold and I've needed some extra scissors. I love just putting one pair per packet, you know, per craft. Uh, not Liberty London. Okay, that was it for Liberty London. But I did pick up some other things so I went to a store called loop and loop is yarn they are a British yarn dyer it's hand dyed yarn spun they have fiber and they are now selling some uh, cross stitch silks I didn't need yarn I have plenty but I've always wanted to try this Ovira Soie which is silk floss so it's not cotton like DMC it's actually silk and I picked up this pack, which is shades of black and gray. So very neutral shades, which I thought I could use really any on any project. And then this, I believe, is one of each of how the, the company sells their silk. And this is from Paris. And these are all different weights and styles of silk in shades of blue. So I thought I'm going to do a project, some monochromatic that's going to incorporate all of these blues or at least like some of the blue. So I grabbed one of these and these were 18 pounds each. So 36 pounds for the two of them and that little lovely bag. And then, and then um, at the retreat, and if you watched my other video, you would have seen this. I did pick up a piece of fabric. This is 28 count linen. I don't believe there's a name, but it's Coffee Craft Fabrics. And it just looks like denim or nighttime to me. I was obsessed with this color of navy. I love blue. Um, so I grabbed that and it is a fat quarter. So it's 18 by 27. And then I also got from the same company, um, it was a little Halloween box and it came with some black scissors. And these are the stork scissors. And again, just little embroidery scissors to have when you're hand stitching or any type of small crafting. And they came with a rubber protector. So I grabbed those. That came in the box. And then these mints. And these are Ouija mints. <laughs> and then it was three needle minders. So this one says um, arsenic poison. Do not drink. And these are just, I can take them out and show you. Oh, except for the one I'm giving the one away. But um uh, 
everything was packaged so kindly and nicely. So this is just, and this is also, or this is UK Needle Minder Company. And it's just a little arsenic poison needle minder. And this one I'm opening. I think this is all the stuff I got too. I'm sure there might be more kicking around here, but uh, this one says Bad Witch. Oh, I know I have another needle minder. And then this one is a little pumpkin, a unicorn pumpkin, and I'm giving that away. But it's adorable, so I'll put that with the candy. I know I got another needle minder. I'm looking through my bag of goodies here. I did have another needle minder. Where'd she go? It fell off. Ah, found it. Okay. This one is a little ghost. And the company is Cotton and Clay. And these were seven pounds for this one. And these are handmade out of clay. Hence, cotton and clay. I'm assuming she dyes fabric as well. But it's a little ghosty ghost. I love that. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here I purchased. Um, just some patterns. This was on the freebie table. It's just some fabric. Uh, 32 count, we think. And then a pattern, which is adorable. I can't wait to stitch that. That'll be great for like a smalls exchange as well. Um, and then I picked purchase. Well, this was gifted to me. Cosford and Rise Stitchery. Her name is Ke uh, Kelly and she sat at our table and she gifted that to me. She designed it. We all know that's going to turn into a black and white cat, right? Okay, good. As long as we all know that. And then I purchased these from her and they're so reasonably priced. And she designed all these little tiny, they're little Halloween. Like this one is the pot and it just says fire hungry cauldron. And uh, I can't read it. Oh, fire hurry and cauldron boil or something. I would need my glasses. Oh wait, I'm wearing them. I don't know. But you get all these patterns. One, two, three, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven patterns for eight pounds. Like that is very reasonable. So I grabbed that for, from her. And then Hannah was doing a D stash and she sold this. And this is the Prairie Schooler Halloween. And I 100% purchased that from her. So that is everything I bought. Well, in London, I had a fantastic time and I hope you enjoyed my little haul and showing you what I got and what I brought back for folks and you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.